oil you know those concerns in the middle east tension that is going on you know the red sea issues that have been going on fred cost has already increased crude oil prices also do get impacted of that but there are other factors now that are impacting crude oil prices as well now this morning asian market check when you're doing that and when you're checking how crude oil has actually started performing on this open brent crude oil prices quite subdued down to tenth of a percent in trade uh, look at the brent crude oil prices uh, at 78.6 dollar per barrel mark wti crude oil 73.64 dollar per barrel mark is what it's trading at that's also down 2 10th of a percent in trade now obviously the main concerns that have come in uh, for oil price in uh, today morning trade is that saudi arabia has actually slashed the prices of its asia crude exports to over a two year low although the losses were uh, quite limited for the traders but uh, that is something in terms of the supply disruptions that are caused by the middle east those concerns continue to be there as well as any escalation in the israel hamas conflict coupled with this options from the red sea that's the main reason that we're seeing that oil prices remaining you know quite a bit of a weakish footing that you could say as of now as well so yes nothing exciting in terms of the oil prices though yes exciting for us because yes they become cheaper for the indian markets but uh, opec uh, on terms of higher opec supply that's a concern saudi arabia has cut to offset the middle east to our east that's a factor as well as red sea these are the concerns that come in when you're talking about the crude oil prices keeping an eye out on that other than those obviously global queues that you did mention those are factors that will impact crude oil prices as well but as of now nothing exciting down almost 2 tenths of a percent of the crude oil prices well absolutely subdued as ever but staying with oil markets and according to a jp morgan note the global oil consumption in december grew at the slowest pace in 9 months the research firm however said that despite undershooting expectations in the last month of 2023 global oil demand growth was in line with yearly expectations meanwhile bank of america expects more volatility in the oil markets this year and according to them us oil refiners and companies are likely to face a challenging 12 months with expectations of the brent averaging around 80 dollars per barrel this year Okay, surely that's the word coming in also uh, from brokerages. But let's look at the important events that we're keeping an eye out on as well. And uh, obviously, just today itself, let's not forget the Japanese market are shut uh, with respect to the uh, for the age day. Then we have uh, in global queues, we'll be watching out for. Uh, consumer and economic confidence uh, retail sales data today we do have bajaj autos uh, board meeting that will be mulling uh, back in terms of the fully uh, paid up equity shares saturn credit will be considering uh, some bit of a fund raising plan chumble fertilizers too will be considering a buyback of equity shares so keep an eye on that uh, we also do have uh, lock and peters that will be ending for uh, idea forge as well as plaza wires so keep an eye on that one uh, other than that you know also we have some other important queues coming in today uh, NCLAT will be hearing the case of IDBI as well as Access Finance against ZN Sony merger keeping an eye out on that as well uh, obviously uh, for the week also let's just look at you know what are the important other events that we're watching out for tomorrow there's going to be in eurozone and um, employment data that will be coming unemployment rate uh, that will be coming out as well so let's keep an eye on that in the eurozone uh, this week we have the ECB economic bulletin UK the GDP industrial uh, GDP industrial production data as well as trade balance is what we are watching out for this week as well initial jobless claims from the us is an important one to watch out for and in uh, domestic uh, corporate action keeping an eye out on cochin shipyard stock split that will be happening as well nugen software will be announcing a bonus of in the ratio of 1 is to 1 keep an eye out on that so yes important queues events to watch out for earnings will be starting delta corp will be reporting its numbers tomorrow keep an eye out on that and obviously we do have infosys tcs anand rachi wealth uh, among others and etl tech and wipro which will be reporting its numbers this week so a lot of events to watch out for you know especially earnings kick starting that's the key to watch out for as well Well, Vinny, absolutely, and we also have some action in the primary markets tomorrow. We've got a new IPO that's going to be opening for subscription, and that's Jyoti CNC Automation. So, well, an interesting one to watch out for as well. But moving on, let's uh, look at some important global stories that we've been tracking for you bright and early this morning. And well, pain for jet maker Boeing goes global after the Federal Aviation Administration ordered the grounding of as many as 171 Boeing 737 Max 9s for checks. This after part of an Alaska Airlines plane's fuselage fell off on Friday. Thousands of passengers face flight cancellations after major US airlines have been grounded. Uh, dozens of Boeing jets have also been grounded. 
And meanwhile, staying with the news flow from the U.S., congressional uh, leaders have announced $1.59 trillion deal on top-line spending amid government's efforts to avert a shutdown. The deal establishes overall spending budget of $1.59 trillion for the fiscal year 2024, of which $886 billion have been allocated to military and $704 billion to the non-defense spending. This deal has come as the House of and the Senate inch closer to the 19th Jan deadline when the funding runs out for many federal agencies.